Andy in his slow car. He's about to do a burnout in his slow car. 100%. 100%. What is up YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? If you don't know who I am, I'm Andy from Diablo Formula Racing and this behind me is my huge turbo 370 cubic inch Dolan engines, Huron Speed built 98 Firebird Formula non WS6, WS9 vehicle, race car behind me. So I've been building this thing for a while as you guys know uh, if you're new to the channel we're going to talk about it a little bit but um it's uh it's getting ready for a big race coming up here soon uh by the time this video goes live it race might have already happened and you'll probably see videos of it regardless as you guys can see we have the uh reservoir the brake reservoir kind of bent out of the way and we have the uh uh brake booster kind of like just sitting in this thing uh kind of weird and i'm going to explain to you guys why this is like that in this box in this box right here is a very very cool product for the 9802 f bodies uh camaros the trans ams the formulas the ss's the z28s the ws6s all those guys and it has to pertain to a six-speed vehicle which is what this car is right here this is a this is a six-speed manual vehicle and i'll just give you a little little taste of what's in here maybe you guys can figure it out but uh it is from a place called tick performance and let's uh let's take this out of here and i'll show you what it is they do package these really nice when you do uh, order them from Tick. But uh, what you have here is, we'll get the car in the background there. There you go. <laughs> what we have here is Tick Performance's adjustable clutch master cylinder and insulation guide for the LS1F body. I had one of these. I'm going to tell you a story about this Tick Master right here. And not this particular Tick Master right here, but I'm going to tell you a story. So back in the day, years ago, when this car was not running, it was blown up for about six years. It was blown up. And we finally got it back run again. Don't pay attention to Red Rocket back here. Um, we'll talk about him in another day. But um, the one thing it had in it was a Tick Master, uh, Clutch Master cylinder. And I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. I was literally launching my car, this car right here, shake my hands shaking over here i was literally launching this car at 6500 clutch dumps on a twin disc clutch on a 150 shot of nitrous down at uh, cecil county in maryland on a tick master cylinder and that was their old style tick master cylinder which worked flawlessly it worked great so uh you know some years went by and the car was sitting somebody needed one of their uh one of the tick master and i had one and i was like ah, i'll sell you mine i'm not going to use it the car is down it's probably going to be a couple years before the car is back up and running and at that point in time i'll just get another tick master no big deal so i ended up with no tick master and now that the engine and the turbo system's in ghost right now well guess what i need guys a tick master so i contacted tick told him what was up with the car what i was doing with the car and they were nice enough to send me out a Tick Master Cylinder. I'm gonna show you what this thing looks like outside the bag. But I wanna tell you guys that this Tick Master is a different designed Tick Master than the one I previously owned. It's gonna be interesting to see how this one fits in the car compared to the old style. The old style had like a, well, you know what? I'll just show you. All right, so now that we have this unboxed, you can actually see what we're dealing with here. So we have nice instructions right there nice insulation guide from tick very very uh good explanation of how to put one of these in three nice little tie wraps that you could use to tie up your line underneath the car this is actually the feed line that goes into your transmission it comes with a very nice new plastic retainer clip which you you know if you uh, work on these t56s these things get chewed up they get messed up 
they actually come with a new one which is really really cool then you have your adjustable rod which is right here that goes on the end like this we don't put this on just yet guys so just leave that off to the side now the old brick style i call it the brick style um uh bracket that they had was really like bulky and it was huge it probably came out to like here on both sides it was really huge so this is their new redesigned uh bracket for their tick master and i tell you what it's a lot slimmer it's a lot nicer looking it actually comes with bolts as well the old one came with bolts as well but uh it's nice to see that they include pretty much everything that you need to install this into your vehicle and it you know i'll be honest it looks like it's going to be a pretty simple install but i'm going to show you a little trick on how i put these in um even the old design if you have if you buy a used one from somebody with the old uh boxy style uh setup or if you buy the new revised version um there's a couple different ways you can put it in but i'm going to show you the easiest way that i find to put these things in and it makes it just very painless to do so and that's where we come to having our brake master cylinder out let me get a flashlight here Here's our flashlight. The table's a mess. It's just been a crazy, crazy day. So you see that little hole down there, guys, where the flashlight's pointing? That's where that tick master goes. And what I found, one of the things that I do with these uh, when I install them, is I actually will take the uh, reservoir off and I will take that brake booster and move it out of the way. And it makes it so much easier for me to get my hand down in there to put this thing in and line it up and put the bolts through on the backside. And just, you know, it just makes it so much easier. And it's easy to get this uh, this booster off. All you gotta do is you go inside, you can probably see it right here. You go inside underneath the dash, there's four 13 millimeter nuts that you take off and then unhook your arm from your uh, brake pedal. And this thing will literally come out and move around and you can just do whatever you want with it basically. Don't mind my wires, I got wires everywhere and all kinds of stuff going on right here. Crazy. Flashlight's moving on me, there we go. So it just makes uh, it makes it easier, makes it a little bit more roomier to, to be able to get down there and finesse your way around. There we go. Let's move it up out of the way here. There we go. Now you guys can see it a lot better. And the nice thing is I can get my hand down in here. I'll show you. Get my hand down in here. I can get to that hole pretty simple and uh, be able to line this uh, master cylinder up and get it in because it is pretty tight down here, guys. Now, the very first thing you're gonna need to do because there is something that's not included in the Tick Master and you might be able to tell what that is, is your reservoir. And the thing is you can use your reservoir back over. This is actually an F-body uh, uh, master cylinder right here, clutch master cylinder. It sits kind of in the firewall like this. So if you're looking at the car, like the way it's sitting, it goes like this. And then the reservoir sits up in the engine bay. But basically what you do is you just unbolt it, you unclamp it from here, pull it off, stick it on the new piece here. Now, while you're doing that, I would highly recommend to clean this thing out. I'm gonna show you what it looks like here. This one's an old dirty one, but you can see that uh, it's not the prettiest looking thing in there, to be honest. Here, let's dump, dump some oil out here. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. So this is a good time to clean this uh, this reservoir out and get all the dirt and stuff, blow air through the line, make sure it's not clogged uh, before you put it on your Tick Master. All right, so we got everything cleaned up, as you can see, nice and pretty in there again. Definitely don't want to have dirty fluid um, inside this thing when you, when you put this brand new Tick Master on. I mean, why would you want to not clean this out? The other thing I recommend is when you do attach the hose to here, I would also recommend bench bleeding um, this system before installing it. It's gonna make it a ton easier to bleed out the entire system in general uh, if this is already bench bled. It's very, very easy to bench bleed. You just you know, fill this up with fluid, have it attached, fill it up with fluid, press this in, poke this out. Uh, this is sounding really weird, not gonna lie. You're gonna need a friend to do it or you can put in a vise. You can actually poke this with a screwdriver Press this in to get the air out of the line and out of the system. Close this again and let this out. It'll suck the fluid out from the reservoir back into the system here again. And uh, you just keep doing that until all the air is out and this is completely full. It's a very easy thing to do. If you don't know how to do it, you can easily look it up on YouTube on how to bench bleed a clutch master uh, cylinder. It's uh, There's probably a million and a one videos out there and I don't wanna show you because this video is about the installation process of this unit. So uh, you can find that video and it should be pretty easy to, and, uh, to understand what you need to do to do it. But I do highly recommend doing that as well. All right, now we have it all bench bled. I did that off camera here. So uh, we got our two bolts here. 
I'm going to put them right there because we don't need them at this very moment. Going to go ahead and walk this thing over to the car. <laughs> and make some room here. And we're going to shove that sucker down in the hole right there. So obviously since I can't, uh, I can't do this with one hand, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just get it in there it's it's kind of a mess to get in not gonna lie to you it is kind of you got to finagle it around a little bit but you know with the the uh, brake booster out of the way it, it makes it very easy for one person to do it with both their hands and uh, make it happen so let's get it in then we'll get back and we'll show you what it looks like inside the car all right so we got it in and this is proof in the pudding guys that you can do this by yourself you don't need a friend to help you or anything these units can actually be put in you know with one person so let's take a look at it it does look really pretty down there i'm not gonna lie but that's pretty much what it looks like sitting in there and then this guy here just goes right there and then you get a little push pin tie wrap whatever put it right there and you have your setup now let's go inside underneath the dash and i'll show you what it looks like in there Alrighty, so as you guys can see, um, these two uh, 13 millimeter bolts right here, hopefully you can see them, maybe you can, maybe you can't, uh, right there and right there. Um, that bracket, I would highly recommend keeping that bracket, it actually stabilizes everything, your your brake uh, bracket and all that stuff. So don't, don't take that bracket out, I know some people have done that, just to make it easier, but this has to be moved over a little bit. Just to get everything lined up but you uh you can do this by yourself it's just a little bit of a pain in the butt but you can definitely do this by yourself the only other thing left is you put the rod on and then you attach it you probably can't see it but you attach it up on the uh the clutch pedal itself but before we do that we have one other thing we got to do first all right so the last and final thing you got to do this setup is we have to attach the uh thingy here the, the line <laughs> i'm so i'm like the thingy we gotta attach the thingy here I'm so tired guys, I've been working on this car day and night, man. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in right in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me get the flashlight over here. So you guys actually can see what I'm doing here. There we go. So this, this little O-ring piece right here simply just plugs into your slave, just like that. It's very, very simple. Doesn't Just make sure it doesn't pull out again, you know what I mean? Um, and that's pretty much it. You can see my twin disc clutch in there a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll tie this up, get it out of the way. Now, I do highly recommend if you have long tube headers, obviously I have a turbo system on this, so my exhaust is not running down the sides uh, like a normal uh, V8. Uh, there's a metal plate that goes here. I would highly recommend you use it to keep heat away from uh, all your components and everything. And as you can see, uh, here's my bleeder um, line right there. We're gonna go up and bleed it. But uh, we're gonna tie wrap this up out of place. That way it doesn't like move around and uh, move back up to the top of the car again. All right, the last and final thing that you need to do, if you guys can see it, is you attach your rod, you just thread it on and you knock, then you tighten down your two 13 millimeter nuts uh, on the end. Now me personally, maybe you guys can see this, maybe you can't, I have a lot of wiring going on here today. Don't pay attention to the wiring guys. It's, there we go, much cleaner. So me personally, what I like to do is when I um, when I adjust mine, I like my clutch pedal to pretty much be in line with my brake pedal. Now this will change all depending on what kind of clutch you have, if you have shims behind your clutch or so on and so forth. But uh, what's nice about this kit is it is fully adjustable, which is very, very nice. Um, uh, it makes for an uh, easy install. It makes for uh, easy adjustment for any type of a clutch, a triple disc, a twin disc, a single disc, which is nice. And it explains inside the instructions everything that you need to do to properly adjust this setup as well. So it's very helpful and very, very nice. Whew. So there you go, guys. A little bit of an installation uh, video on the Tickmaster uh, for your clutch, for your T56, for 9802 uh, Trans Am, Camaro, Z28 SS's, WS6's, whatever. Uh, they also have a bunch of other products as well. So check them guys out. First link in the description, plus they will always be in my sponsors link at the very bottom of my description as well. But uh, they sell these master cylinders for just not only the F bodies, but they sell them for a whole array of other vehicles. Vets, GTOs, G8s, 
you know, whatever uses a T56 uh, transmission. So go check them guys out if you're interested in purchasing one of those. Other than that, we're going to end this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. Deuces, guys.